Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Happy 4th of July. At about 8 p.m. local time, Pacific Standard Time, there was 44 reports of a fireball seen over California and Nevada. Also, on the 3rd, at about 2 a.m., there was a fireball that was sent in from one of the uh, cameras there um, in Missouri. And they got videos and uh, still pictures of it. Albany, Missouri. Uh, let's see what else we got. It was, it was light green in color. Terminal flash. Meteor had a short luminous path, path that was very bright throughout its visible path, it says here. Here on this report, which had been last night or late last night, uh, one report as far as Aberdeen, California. Very low on the horizon. It seemed to stand still, then moved down for a short distance northwest. It's my se second sighting in two days. It was blue, green, and white. On the heat map, looks like most of the reports came from Sacramento. Now, according to Earth Sky, there's going to be the Delta Aquarius meteor shower. It begins uh, late July, I guess the 28th, and will probably continue through August. Going back to this recent event, there was another one. Um, Lakehead, Lakeshore, California. That's the farthest one south that they got reported here. They said it was white and yellow. Jesse from Nevada City, California. Uh, said that it was the color of orange. Tijin from Sierraville, California. Their report said it was purple, dark blue, blue and white. Um, I guess there was a sound. It sounded like it was going really fast. It was glowing really bright blue. And there was a terminal flash. Um, it was a peaceful fallout. It was falling apart into pieces. Annie, who was close to the same location, says it was a cool experience. Um, it was orange and white. A constant white noise. That's interesting that there was two reports of noise. Small orange sparks. April from Browns Valley, California, said there was two other people with her when they saw it. It was light yellow and white. They did not hear any sound, but it did have a glowing train. Yeah. Holly from the uh, Sacramento area said it was pretty cool. I seen the huge oxygen tank enter back in Texas that lit up the night that landed on a ranch back in the early 1990s. It lit up the nighttime into daytime for seconds. I've seen meteor showers uh, before. I've seen the space shuttle re-enter Earth's atmosphere at early dawn and light up the night sky. It was daytime with huge smoke tail. This one was close to the ground, landed somewhere south of Highway 50, most likely um, on Aerojet property. was moving at a pretty quick clip, lasted about a little over a second and fragmented into three pieces. I would have estimated bigger than a softball, but not by much. I got a real good look at it, close as I've seen one in attitude, al altitude, excuse me. Another report from the same location or close to it, primarily an orangish white light trail, light fragmentation, Two to three fragments seen. Yeah, the meteor hunters should get out there. Once again, on AccuWeather.com, they have an example of the different color of meteors. It says here, for example, meteors made from primarily calcium will give off a purple or violet color, while those made out of magnesium will appear to have a green or teal color. Well, this one was red which is nitrogen and oxygen, and yellow, which is iron. Yeah, those are definitely uh, hard bodies, so you have a good chance of finding something if you go out looking for it. 
Yeah, we got reports from Reno, Carson City, down by uh, Santa Rosa, Stockton, Modesto, San Francisco. Did you see this meteor last night? That would have been really cool. If so, put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Everyone have a very safe and enjoyable 4th of July. God bless you all. Bye.